So here I have a nationwide truck and it has an issue. Engine problem, engine went down and today I'm going to show you what is the issue with this truck. So if you come with me, we are going to find out then the issue comes right here on the rod bearing. This is a rod bearing and it's fully damaged. And it is not good. It cannot be reused, engine cannot be reused as well, crankshaft is damaged. So which means then we have to remove the crankshaft and do a major repair just like we are doing to this engine that we have right here. So today I'm going to show you how to identify the problem. When, it, when you talk about crankshaft there is two type of damage that you can find on a crankshaft. The rod bearing damage or the main bearing damage. The difference between those two is the cost of the repair. When you have a rod bearing damage, the repair is a little lower on price because we have only to we have just to replace the crankshaft. But when it comes to the main bearing to the main bearing damage, that is a little more expensive because we have to repair the engine block and replace the crankshaft. So between those, we are talking about between $3,000 to $6,000 difference. When you have a crankshaft that has rod bearing damage, or when you have a crankshaft that has a main bearing damage. And those three to five to $6,000 is going to be the engine block repair. It depending when you where you are, the location, the price, that is how much is going to be. Some places probably are going to be cheaper. And depending on how much they have to repair, it is going to be how expensive is going to be the repair of this engine block. So today I'm going to show you then we have the main uh, proof of the damage thing is the rod bearing. It's the easiest way to know when you have a rod bearing damage. So of course the rod bearing is done and the crankshaft is done but the engine still doesn't rotate. So one easy way to know if the crankshaft is damaged on the main car on the main bearings main caps you can remove it you can use an impact gun remove it and see if one of the main bearings is damaged but there is seven caps in total if there is any of those damage you have to remove all seven but what about if you can do it without removing all seven and that is what I'm going to show you that's the reason why we have this nationwide truck to show you what could be the way then you are going to identify if your main caps are damaged so for that we're going to go under the vehicle and we're gonna need just a flashlight and a screwdriver those are the tools because we have all the components underneath completely removed that's something that you have to know then before we do all this we have to remove all these components so we can go and proceed with knowing what is the way to know when the crankshaft is damaged on the main bearings so let's go underneath come on underneath you too You have to come underneath. Okay. Okay. So we can clearly see the damage right here on the crankshaft. This is the way the crankshaft looks when it's completely damaged. This connected rod is damaged, which means then it's possible then we have more than one connecting rod then is damaged. We have six of them, but we cannot just replace one. We have to replace all the connecting rods and the crankshaft. But now these are the main caps, these ones right here. I have many videos showing you where the main caps bearings replacements are going to be, uh, how it's going to be to replace the main bearing caps. But in this case, the engine still doesn't rotate. So today uh, I'm going to show you because I was talking about then to inspect 
the bearings on the main cap you have to remove these bolts and then you remove the cap in order to see the crankshaft and if the crankshaft is damaged of course we are going to replace the crankshaft and we have to replace the engine block but the way the easiest way to know that is going to be to grab the screwdriver and you can see these groups over here see this group and this group over here so what we're gonna do is push the crankshaft to the opposite side see this one doesn't move or push it this side and I don't know if you can see that little tiny move you can see it see I don't know if you can hear it and see it you can see it right so that is what we have to do this way when the crunches move like this that means then the main bearings are in a good condition we don't have to repair the engine block it is just the rod bearings the ones that are damaged and we have to remove the engine just to replace the crankshaft engine block is going to be reused with the same caps and we are going to be able to install a new crankshaft without doing any major repair to the engine block now if you use the screwdriver like this and the, end, and the crankshaft doesn't move the way this one is doing see if the crankshaft doesn't move at all that means then your main caps are completely destroyed and there is nothing to do but removing the engine replacing the crankshaft and repairing the engine block and that it that is the easiest way to know how it is the engine in what condition this is good because we are saving time we are saving money by just replacing the crankshaft without repairing the engine block and this is the way you are going to know okay let's get out and let's continue and finish this video so uh, that's pretty much what we have to do and uh, this is what you need to know in case you have this issue then uh, you have a damaged crankshaft and you don't know what is going to be the cause of the repair and you don't have time to remove all the main bearings caps in this case all you have to do is grab a, a screwdriver and do that see the plate because when the connecting rod gets stuck on the crankshaft doesn't limit the crankshaft to move back and forth but if the main bearing cap is the one that is damaged it gets completely welded with the uh, main bearing cap then it stops you from moving the engine back and forth because that is completely welded so the movement doesn't happen in any direction in left to right or back to forth and that is how you are going to be able to notice in this case this engine is going to be removed we are going to replace the crankshaft and we are going to do anything necessary to do a full overhaul and um, probably I'm going to give you a follow-up to this video so you can see how this engine is coming up and all the repair thing is going so that way you can uh, understand other things that I'm talking about currently I'm working on some other videos like this engine that I have right here then suffer a uh, engine uh, damage with a crankshaft failure a crankshaft uh, damage because of the low pressure because of the suction manifold broke and we have another engine right there the detorting engine then actually working on another video then we are going to replace an engine and we have another d15 engine then it's for that truck over there this which one it is somewhere over there so that one with the brake shoes and everything right there we have all covered up so because it's a used engine so in this case it's a dd15 a used engine then we are going to start to the truck then it's right there that truck so there is a couple projects that i have right here going on and uh you know more videos for you more different 
topics than we have. So if you have any questions about this video, just uh, comment below. Um, and uh, we're gonna continue on helping, um, but uh, improvising my help is because of your comments that you leave uh, below. So because sometimes you ask me about videos, then probably I don't have um, the, I mean, the, the mental process to think about how to do this video and you can give me ideas on how to do this video so it's very important to do that and you know comment uh, share your opinions share anything that you have and comment section is very important for that you want to contact me directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube you can see me there directly have more personal contact with me you want to send support check the description of the video i have details how to send support and uh, like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.